Hey guys, for this video, I want to share about how we can start using ESP32 microcontroller with Arduino IDE. So I have ESP32 here, and I have here Arduino Uno R3, and I have Arduino Nano. So what is the, all the difference between these three boards? Basically, Arduino Uno is a very common and most of the people they will prefer for testing for the prototyping because it have the pins just digital pin and analog pins everything then uh, this we just simply we can use the jumper wire and which is a very convenience and there's a 5 volt output and a 3.3 volt and there's a ground this side are the analog and this side are the digital Alright, so there are a lot of advantage using Arduino R3 and Arduino Nano we go to the same with Arduino R3 and this is a very small tiny board and it also provides a 5 volt output from the power source so just like any module or any uh, any any module that you can directly connect to the 5 volt to Arduino and there is a 3.3 volt as well. So Arduino Nano and Arduino Uno, they will not have a Bluetooth, uh, they don't have Wi-Fi. So if you want to build Internet of Things IoT project or the Bluetooth control, you're gonna use separate Bluetooth bot or separate Wi-Fi bot. So what advantage for this ESP32 is it has a built-in Bluetooth and it has a built-in Wi-Fi and it has a touch sensor and the bulk rate also it's much more faster than Arduino and there are a lot of different things between this Arduino and ESP32 and for a reason the price will be much more cheaper this ESP32 and the disadvantage is this ESP32 we only have a 3.3 volt for the output so if anything you want to use for 5 volt devices, 5 volt board, you need to have a separate power supply. Otherwise, it cannot provide a 5 volt. All right. So the advantage and disadvantage between Arduino and ESP32. So for this video, we're gonna start using ESP32 with Arduino IDE Sketch. So let's get start. So first of all, we're gonna con we're going to use this is micro. USB cable okay just use micro USB cable and here is another pin and here's the boot and here is LED built in is the pin this is the pin number two all right so for the detail we can check it in the website so first I'm going to connect to the computer right here So I already connect the ESP32 for the computer and the power is on. So you need to see your ESP32 is which kind of the board and the model number. So ESP32 dev kit V1 and I'm going to select ESP32 dev kit. So we're going to open Arduino IDE. So first of all you have to install this Arduino IDE into your computer. It's on now. And I already make a video how to install Arduino IDE in the computer. And so this is the code that I write for the simple code that will make LED turn on and off. And we're using digital pin number two of ESP32. And because this ESP32 digital pin number two is the built-in LED. If you change to pin number three or any pins, I will have to give a separate LED from outside. And so the LED pin is output. And a void loop LED pin high and delay and a low delay. So this will make it uh, five millisecond on, five millisecond off. So on off on off. This we keep looping. So we already write the code here. And what we're gonna do is you go to the file here and goes to preference. So to use ESP32 here we have to paste the link uh, which you're gonna take from the internet so these are all the pin input and output of ESP32 and here 
how to install ESP32 on Arduino IDE. So we already installed Arduino IDE and we already open it up. So we already go to the file here and preference. And this is the link that we have we need to we need to copy. So this is the link that we need to copy and paste to our Arduino IDE. So copy back to Arduino IDE here and the link that we need to paste over here and click OK. So after you click OK, all the necessary the library we download automatically and this we just OK later, later, all right. So next, go to the tools and here we need to choose the right board. Now my board is choosing Arduino Nano and so here we need to choose go to ESP32 here and then so this ESP32 there are a lot of model that you need to see your ESP32 is which kind of the board on the behind of your board so where's my ESP32 okay so I have here ESP32 dev key v1 I select it up and so next go to the tools here and the board and board manager and here ESP32 ESP32 okay so once you type ESP32 by expressive I already installed here make sure you install the latest version okay I can update so once you already install and now this time you can upload the code so we already select the board here I select to the com and here right so the part is already connect to the computer here so now I'm going to upload the code to ESP32 let me upload the code so we can see here fail uploading so uh, what the things that we can do is you press upload again and we need to press the boot on ESP32 here so press upload and press the boot here all right so done upload so the code is already uploaded to this bot and let's see our code is LED blink 5 seconds on 5 seconds off so this is a blinking LED so after you already uploaded the code we need to press the reset button here and number EN alright so now this time we can see our ESP32 LED is blinking if you want to see from outside we can add a separate LED and we're going to press here we're going to place ESP32 to a small a small breadboard we're using this pin number 2 is LED and here make sure you connect to the ground so LED ground is the shopping and the lounge is positive so pin number 2 is positive and a crown so this is how we can use ESP32 just like Arduino, we are using Arduino as a very simple code that we blink LED. So this is how we can start using ESP32 as Arduino. Alright, please don't forget to like and share my video. And thank you for watching.